Good afternoon. Today we are going to be discussing about a particular topic in social studies for JSS2 that has to do with assertiveness. Assertiveness. Before I start teaching, I would like you to understand the objective of this topic. It is necessary for students to know the meaning of assertiveness. Also, to know what assertiveness is not. And at the same time, to see the behaviors that has to do with assertiveness, the skills, and the importance of assertiveness. So we are taking this, I'm taking this topic in two series. The first series, I will be explaining the meaning of assertiveness. By assertiveness, it means standing up for what one wants or believes in. It involves communicating one's feelings and needs without violating the rights of other people. Assertiveness is communicating feelings and needs while respecting the rights of others. In our society today, we discover that our teenagers, they find it difficult to explain, to express themselves, and to let us know when they are in need of a particular thing. And in, in this sense, they tend to go into arguments they tend to go into quarreling, fighting with one another. This is not necessary. If you are able to express yourself, if you are able to express what you need, then you will be able to overcome whatever challenges that you may be going through. So that is the reason why it is necessary for us to know the meaning of assertiveness so that we will be able to correct this behavior in the society. Once again, I said assertiveness simply means standing up for what one wants or believes in. It involves communicating one's feelings. There is nothing wrong when you communicate and express yourself in a way that your friends will understand exactly what you are saying. And with this, they will be able to cooperate with you, respect you, and at the same time, give you the opportunity to do that thing that is right. Not that you will not be fighting with your friend, simply because your friend does not understand your needs. So this takes us to aggressiveness. What assertiveness is not. Before we look at aggressiveness, it is necessary for us to know what assertiveness is not. I haven't understood the meaning of assertiveness, so we need to also know what assertiveness is not. Assertiveness should not be confused with aggression, passivity, or manipulation. Assertiveness as people feel proud about themselves and enhances one's relationship with friends and family. It does not involve being violent, aggressive, rude, abusive, and disrespectful, or a bully. To be assertive means to show strong and confident feelings and follow through on them. It also means asking for what you need instead of expecting that someone will know. Sometimes, if you don't express yourself, nobody will exactly know what you want. So, there's nothing wrong when you express yourself. There's nothing wrong when you let people know this is what you want, this is what you stand for. So, the rate of bullying is in the high side in our schools today. And the reason is because people don't understand what exactly you are going through. 
We are all from different backgrounds. Students come from different homes. Yes, they are living their various home. They might have had some issues before coming to school. And that may occupy their mind to the point that when somebody mistakenly say what he or she support us to say may trigger that annoyance. So you need to understand that assertiveness should not be confused with aggression. You don't need to be aggressive. You don't need, you don't need to be passive or you don't need to manipulate. So just let your friend or whoever around you that is trying to make you unhappy understand what you are going through. So when you do this, then you are respecting yourself and at the same time, you are respecting your fellow classmates. Now this takes us to aggressiveness. We want to see the meaning of aggressiveness. Aggressiveness means standing up for one's right at the expense of someone's else's right. It involves now when you are not expressing yourself in a way that somebody can understand you, then you will go into getting annoyed with the opposite sex or with your friend. And this can lead to blaming or criticizing the other person. You now begin to criticize that this is the person that caused this, this that's the person that caused that. Then it is also putting other people down. You bring them down. You don't allow them to express themselves. You don't allow them to tell people exactly what the problem is. It also leads to using abusive languages. For example, you start calling your friend names. You start saying negative things about your friend. It also cut across cutting off communication rather than keeping it open. You need to express. Say what is in your mind. But instead of you doing that, you will, you will not want to talk to anybody. Then it leads to confrontation with other people who have different values or opinions. Then it will lead to use of aggression to cover up emotional insecurity. All these are aggressiveness. This is not assertiveness. It is not assertiveness. So what you are doing at that moment we are just showing aggression. So this will also take us to the meaning of passiveness. Passiveness. It is necessary for us to know what passiveness is all about. Passiveness means not expressing one's needs and feelings or expressing them so weakly that they will neither be understood nor addressed. You see, when you are passive, people will not understand you. They will not know, know exactly what you are presenting or what is wrong with you. So you need to be assertive instead of being passive. Then it takes us to manipulation. Manipulation involves pretending everything is all right and trying to get what you want in devious ways. It is a tactic that usually makes other feel nervous, guilty or frustrated. These are different ways that people express themselves. So take note that aggressive assertiveness is expressing yourself without offending others. Why aggressiveness is when you just want to cause an issue that is not necessary. Then passive, when you are not ready to let people know exactly what is going on with you. So we are going to be ending this first series now. Then watch out for the second series. Thank you.